six of them and they lined up ready for combat and they gave me my cease and disorder. I had a state policeman in there getting a haircut at the time and he told me at the time he says those men had to be handpicked. He says we never would have done that. So they were they carefully handpicked who they were going to have come over to my shop. They would support that particular type of an action. But the police are my friends. You know I had one I, I the second day I was open, I had a, uh, a very tall a sheriff's deputy come into my shop. I thought, oh boy, it's over with now. You know, this is it. He turned and looked at me and he says, Carl, he said, look at me. And I turned to look at him and he says, Carl, he says, I love you. And he got in his car and he, and he drove away. So I know I have the support of the law enforcement people. They are not behind this action. You know, our... our, our uh, our local sheriff is not behind this action. You know, so I think for the most part, and I believe it in my heart, you know, that we can stand in this sense. Individually, we can stand individually for our liberties. And we're all together in that sense. You know, there is that one, uh, the, uh, the, the three musketeers, all for one and one for all. You know, and we need to work that out in a, in a way that it works for us as Americans. So God bless you all. I, I thank you for the support that you've given me. Carl Bolke, the, man, the, award, the wor American working man for the American working man, for you, the American working people. God bless you, God bless America. Rob Cordes from the Trump Unity Bridge, sharing positive messages like this all across America. And one thing, the police are standing up for people like Carl and business owners like you working men and women just like you because they're following their oath of the Constitution. And if what Governor Whitmer said goes against the oath that they took of the Constitution, they can't go against their oath. So they're supporting the oath of America and Governor Whitmer, Whitmer needs some help. And she said that if anybody wants to come and talk to her and help her open Michigan safely, she talked to them. So we're here to talk to her. We're sending our message. Operation Haircut on the front lawn of the capital of Michigan. God bless you, God bless, God bless America. Operation Haircut, right, right here today. I'd like to say thank you to um, the Michigan Conservative Coalition, Carl, Bikers for Trump. We're gonna have Lon to say something. We did a caravan out here from Carl's Barber Shop. Uh, hundreds of people, motorcycles, cars, trucks, and everything. Lon will say some closing words um, from the Trump Unity Bridge. There you go, Londa. Everybody, how you doing? Thank you so much for coming up here. We really appreciate it. We got to stand for our liberties, our freedoms, and we can't back down. We just got to hit it harder and harder. We're going to have more protests. We can't let this stop. We got to make it a growing movement. We want our freedom and our liberties back. Who's in? Who's going to be with me? Let's fight back and stand up. Yeah. It's illegal. You know what? She, she
she she opened up Traverse City. I heard she has a home there. Okay, you know, isn't that kind of ironic? But she wants to shut down, keep us down, right? You know, I'm a hairdresser. I'm not working. In fact, I gave Pearl my business card, and I said, if you need somebody else, I'm in. I'm gonna work. So we'll see. And I want to give a special thanks to the bikers and bikers for Trump here, our friends. Yeah, Dave Pearl and uh, Trump Community Bridge and an escort ride. And I just want to thank you all for coming. I really appreciate it. Okay. Oh, also, stay tuned. I'm with the um, Patriot Freedom Rally. We have a committee. We just had our last protest in Grand Rapids. We had one at the Capitol. And we formed a really good committee. We have a lawyer on board, Catherine Henry. So stay tuned. Watch for our next event. And uh, I want you guys all to show up, okay? All right. Thank you very much for coming. Okay, in closing here, I got a message, I had a phone call this morning from the PBA, former chairman of the Professional Beauty Association. And what he said was, all hairdressers in the United States are required to get a cosmetology license. The state of Michigan requires 1,500 hours of education and training, with a significant part of that education on hygiene and personal hygiene and sanitation. In comparison to a restaurant staff, generally the chef have no, has, a license, has a degree and some training in health and safety, but the wait staff and busboys don't. So to prepare, the difference is hairdressers should be allowed to open because of their training. They should be allowed to open safely. We have learned that the COVID virus can't survive for up to one week on a glass. Um, Yet, restaurateurs and their staff have not gotten the training, but are willing to do it to open up. And the secret to that would be wear gloves, and have a waitress or server deliver the food, and have a different busboy or person take the dirty dishes away. And that way they could keep it and sanitize it from um, being spread. Hair salons are safer and a more, much safer experience than any other business in the community, and that's why they should be open. God bless you, God bless America. And remember, this is the first time that Democrats, Republicans, Thank even you, Bernie supporters, Nancy Pelosi, Obama, Schumer, all of them have agreed that with President Trump for the first time, that walls do work. They built a wall around everybody with a quarantine, right? Built the wall around you with your quarantine, and then we'll let you out safely. So they all agree, President Trump was right, walls do work. God bless you, God bless America. Carl, you wanna say thank you, come take a couple pictures of people? Uh, thank you very kindly. You know, I really appreciate this support. I honestly do, you know. Uh, we have a, in a, in a group that I uh, am associated with, we have a prayer that we use. And it goes like this, God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change, the courage to change those things that I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. It was the courage that I needed to, to do this, to open my shop, and to continue on with this. And now we're in a stage of wisdom. We need to stand up, we need to open up, and we need to show up. That's right, stand up for your rights, open up your business, and show up to work, show up to your rallies. Carl, the working man for you, the working people. God bless you, God bless America. Rob Court is signing out from the Trump Unity Bridge. Tomorrow morning we'll be at 11 o'clock in Whitmore Lake for a land and sea rally. The land and sea rally is at 12, uh, hope starts, um, line up at 11, we take off at noon with boats driving around the lake and cars driving around Main Street, East Shore and West Shore Drive. Whitmore Lake tomorrow morning at 11 o'clock. Thank you from the Trump Unity Bridge. If you need any flags or um, Trump gear or safe social distancing masks, um, we have them at the Trump Mobile. So come on over, get your social distancing masks. And remember to follow your social distancing, do what you feel is right, to follow the rules, uh, follow what makes sense. Right? You, you're an adult, you make your own choices. God bless you.
Does everyone want to follow the entourage for that? Carl, thank you. Thank you. Thank right you. Right on, Carl. Thank you very much.